Welcome to SJC Content. I am Dr. D. Shobha, Assistant Professor in Department of Physics, St. Joseph College of Arts and Science, Karalur. In this video, I am going to discuss about the condition for achromatism of two thin lenses placed in contact. Here we have here two thin lenses. One is a bite convex lens. Lens made up of uh, crown glass. This is a bi concave lens made of flint glass. The focal length of the convex lens is taken as F1 and focal length of the second lens is F2. Omega 1 and Omega 2 are the refractive index. F1, F2 are focal lengths. Omega 1, Omega 2 are the uh, dispersive power of the lens. We know that the focal length of the lens 1 by f equal to n minus 1 of 1 by r1 minus of 1 by r2. This is the focal length formula for a lens. Here n is the refractive index. And f is the focal length. R1 and R2 are the radii of curvature of lens. Differentiating equation 1 because the refractive index varies with the color. Hence, uh, focal lens also varies with the color. So, uh, Differentiating equation 1, we get differentiation of 1 by f, we give minus of df by f square. <coughs> this equal to, here we have n into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2, minus 1 of 1 by r1 and r2, we have two sums. So, this is a refractive index varies with color. So, this is the variable. On differentiating, we will get dn of 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. Take it as equation number 2. <coughs> Multiply this equation with the n minus 1 and divide by n minus 1. Minus of dx by f square equal to dn of n minus 1 and n minus. We are multiplying divide the term n minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. Instead of n minus 1 into 1 by r1 by r2, we will put 1 by f. So, the equation becomes df by f square. Here we have 1 minus which is equal to dn of n minus 1 into 1 by f. For f square, we cancel 1 f. So, we are getting minus df of f equal to dn of n minus 1, which is equal to omega. Omega is the dn by n minus 1. Name it as equation number 3. Then we are using the achromatic combination of two lenses. The focal length of these two lenses 1 by f equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2. Take it as equation number 4. Differentiate equation 4.
we get differentiation of 1 by f. If you take the f in the numerator, we will get f power minus 1 and differentiating we will get minus of f minus 2. It is equal to minus of f power minus 2. So, we are uh, writing this is equal to minus 1 by f square. So, this is the differentiation. So, instead of 1 by f, on differentiating we get minus of df by f square which is equal to again minus of df by f1 square minus of df of f2 square separating this f1 square into two terms so minus of df by f square equal to minus of df by f1 into 1 by f1 the f1 square is separated into two terms. Again, minus of df by df1 here, f2. df2 by f2 into 1 by f2. Here, minus df by f equal to omega. Instead of this, we can put minus df of f square equal to Instead of this term, we are going to put the omega 1. <coughs> omega 1 by F1 plus omega 2 by F2. Here, uh, the achromatic combination of these two lenses uh, will reduce the chromatic aberration. So, the change of the uh, focal length that is uh, df equal to 0. For achromatic combinations, the change in focal length equal to 0. So, we will get omega 1 by f1 plus omega 2 by f2 equal to 0. So, we are getting the condition to reduce the Achromatic combination of two thin lens placed in a contact. Thank you.